The CEOs of the Renault-Nissan Alliance and Daimler AG say the partnership is advancing fast. The company's combined product portfolio has moved from three to 12 major projects in less than five years. At their annual update to the media, Carlos Ghosn and Dieter Zetcher said that revenue from the partnership will likely double in the next six years. I don't think four years ago we would have envisioned that we would do a common plan together in Mexico and have Infinity and Daimler working on the same platform. As long as we keep this spirit of being very pragmatic, we're going to continue to advance and we're going to see more projects from both of us. Very much is possible for the future still. Uh, we have accomplished much more than at least I expected four and a half years ago, uh, but there's more to come. In addition, they said that Mercedes and Infiniti would expand the production of vehicles from the new factory in Aguas Calientes, Mexico, to existing plants in the UK, Germany, Hungary and China. The purpose of the project is to combine forces to try to make the best out of the knowledge that Daimler has accumulated and the knowledge that Ni Nissan has accumulated for Infiniti. So, um, in a certain way, I can tell you that uh, it's not going to be either or. It's not going to be Nissan process or Daimler process. It's going to be a combination of both. 2014 is the fourth year of the partnership and also marks the launch of a major project, the co-development of the Daimler Smart and Renault Twingo. Carlos Ghosn and Dieter Zetcher also talked about how the unique French-Japanese-German partnership works. I would say in their first two years, probably it was really dependent on their um, cooperation among the two of us. I think it's becoming more and more uh, self-sustainable uh, and I'm very, very confident that if ever one of us would decide not to continue on his job, um, the cooperation would continue. Well, I, I must say that, uh, like in many things, uh, individuals are important, at least at the beginning of the process. But then after this, if we do our job very well, uh, you know, companies and institutions and process are established, and particularly a mindset is created, which hopefully, and, and I think reasonably, should, should, should go way beyond individuals. The executives also talked about the future of the automotive industry, including fuel-efficient and zero-emission vehicles, as well as connectivity and autonomous drive vehicles. We're not worried because we, we're already developing uh, a lot of this technology. We know where we are, we feel good about it, so we're ready. The question is mass marketing. We don't see how you can mass market fuel cells. Well, we just don't see it. So if somebody can, we will because we have the technology, the cars are ready. So I don't think we're going to be caught by surprise. Certainly we find a number of areas where it probably would make sense to work together, and we might get there, but we want to prioritize and do what we do right. And therefore, again, we are both active in this field of autonomous driving, and I can very much foresee that someday we're sitting together and, and sharing things there, uh, but step by step.